All right, so Danny says, I have a client I recently took on who has Exchange 2010, which I'm going to migrate to Office 365. The issue is some of the past has lifted the message size restriction and they have emails over 150 megs. Office 365 doesn't support messages this size, so I was unable to import them. Has anyone come across this and what solution have you used other than opening each mailbox, searching for large emails manually, exporting them, and then saving them somewhere else. Uh, there are a lot of mailboxes, including users who have uh, who have left, so not a slick process in being exchanged 2010. And the answer is probably not, not going to be of any help to you. Uh, unfortunately, the maximum <clears throat> uh, Microsoft 365 has, I uh, really, at least a, a methodology for you to get message restrictions lifted up to 150, but over 150, I really don't know what to tell you there. Um, and unfortunately, exporting them and zipping them might be the, I was actually looking for, to see if there was a, an add-in that would let you zip stuff. And I have not come across one so far. That's one area to keep in mind. The article that I have included to, to uh, to the, the the show here to to Christian it does go into uh, at least some degree of PowerShell that might help you in locating the messages that are offending. But uh, as to whether or not you can move them in, I don't know. You might try zipping one and using it as an attachment and, and seeing what will happen on the far end. Frankly, I think nothing will happen, and you're just going to be stuck with those few messages that are going to be over there. Uh, like I say, the PowerShell may help you in finding them and going through the uh, through going through the mailboxes. From a from a um, change perspective, and why we've dealt this when we've done exchange migrations, it wasn't. It was the user had to go and do that themselves and get it ready as part of the as part of the program if you had something that was going to be that big it wouldn't be migrated and would actually be would be lost so it's either go through and delete them or delete attachments or save them so they were kind of the instructions that we would give prior to migration and we would know specifically who those people were because there weren't that many of them usually to have really big ones like that and then we'd actually would work with them or bring them into some training or help them to just understand the steps that they might need to do, whatever that looked like, um, prior to migration. Well, one but other option. But if it was option, an awful lot, then it was, it, yeah. was a, it was an email that went out going, you're going to lose it, yeah. basically. Yeah. Yeah. That, yeah, that well, that's one thing. Let the user driven, that's the least expensive way. It's like, go go and search. Uh, the one thing I was going to throw out there is that there are third party tools. AppPoint has one um, that will, as part of that migration, help you facilitate that. Will go in, identify all of those that exceed the limitations, flag them, and then can automate uh, uh, the how they're treated. So there, there's a, yeah, it's not a free tool. Um, but it's not very expensive, uh, and uh, there, there. So there are third-party tool options for that as well that will automate all of that. This is not a new problem, yeah. um, you know, because plenty of other companies have done this. But uh, it's just a reality with moving to the cloud. With a lot of them just didn't think about and didn't plan for when they set some of those standards or lack of standards. <laughs> yeah.